the way that the cloak works is that it's very simple actually and you know it surprised me that people were surprised because the principle is so simple um, so you have to imagine that that light's flowing like water imagine it's a fluid and not not really light and if, if it were a fluid and you put an obstacle in its way um, of course the light would either either bounce off an obstacle or be absorbed by it if it was black but fluid doesn't do that fluid goes round Okay, and it kind of closes up the other side, and so uh, when you're a bit downstream, um, you don't know there's an obstacle there because the fluid is flowing smoothly again, like the stick in a stream or something like that. And that's the trick that you want light to move like a fluid. It doesn't normally, but you've got to make it do that. And if you can, the light does a kind of chicane around the object you're trying to hide never hits it, otherwise it would scatter and you'd see the object. It goes around it, but then um, if it just went off any place, you'd actually see a shadow and you don't want to see that. So to close up the flow, it's got to come back to its original trajectory. So right. it's got to do this like chicane around, around the thing. Uh, and, and that's the principle of the cloak. Very, very simple. There's nothing clever about that. Where the clever bit comes in is going from saying that you want the light to flow like this to saying how you can arrange that 